For user datagram protocol, UDP is an alternative to TCP and it also operates at the transport layer. So you'd either use TCP or UDP, basically. And as I say, an alternative to TCP, you'd, either, you'd use either, not both. And what TCP does, it sets up a two-way connection, whereas UDP just sends the data one way, regardless of the readiness of the receiving device. So with TCP, we talked about how an acknowledgement is sent back, i.e. you have this two-way connection. Whereas UDP is just a one-way connection, there's no acknowledgement to do with UDP. Because UDP doesn't have error checking and correction built in, you might use it when this isn't necessary, perhaps it's done by the application, so it's not necessarily required because you don't want it to be done twice, so that might be more suitable. And as you'd imagine, UDP is faster, it has reduced latency, to put it in formal terms, compared to TCP because it hasn't got this extra step to do in terms of creating this acknowledgement message. But of course it's less reliable because there's not this re retransmission if something goes wrong. So potential constant retransmissions in TCP might be unsuitable for certain purposes like online gaming where an error is less detrimental than a delay. You know, a couple of drop packets might not be such a big issue. A delay is an issue, just that, that small difference in latency can make quite a big difference. So that might be why you would use UDP over TCP if you need an instant response, such as in gaming.